What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about clear wheels and how you can choose the uh, best one for your Metal Fight Limited combos. This also goes for like 40 and standard, but primarily Metal Fight Limited because in standard at least, it's mostly synchrons these days. So yeah, so there's actually, I guess, let me, let me start like this. Um, clear wheels are in general have the least effect on your Beyblades combo. Um, Usually they're more important for like swag points. <laughs> so if, you, if you're into the drip, that kind of stuff. Um, but there are actually clear wheels that will make or break your combo. And you need to know when to choose the right one. Because sometimes even though it looks good, it will be very, very bad. So first, basically stamina and, and defense clear wheels are categorized together as... They're, they're just basically one category. You want them to be heavy, round, smooth, and have good weight distribution. And attack, you don't want them to cover the contact points. And I will have examples here in, in just a minute. So there's some other stuff I'll get into, but let's start off with some good stamina ones. All right, so here we have some decent ones. I'm going to cover these two really quick, um, that being Kerbex and where did it go? Okay, Unicorn 02. So these are more for like 4D. You can use them in limited. I, I, I don't think I've seen too many use them because what these are really good at are three bladed Beyblades. These are, they, they weigh quite a bit. So they're very good and they look really good, but they're very good on like three ba uh, bladed Beyblades. Like we have Diablo Nemesis here, you know, showing off the drip. It looks sick. I know, I know. But as you can see, the three blades line up very well. And works has very good synergy and that's basically what you want i think this one's probably more useful it's a little bit smoother but yeah they're they're pretty good but the ones you're probably going to be more interested in are these right here and cygnus by far is just the best clear wheel for stamina defense great outward weight distribution great weight an amazing shape so yeah, that's basically your, your go-to, um, you know, Sagittario 2 is also very good, very round. Same with Cancer, Aquario. Then you have Bull. Bull is heavy, it's pretty good, um, but these are, in my opinion, better than it. And then some people like Pegasus 2. Apparently the mid-fake one's actually heavier. Um, so yeah, that's that. There are some exceptions to combos, and that is... Um, Oops, my, my tripod almost fell over. Uh, some combos actually want a clear wheel you wouldn't normally use. So like Leon doesn't have really any use on any other combo. But as you know, Bakushin synergizes really well with it. And sometimes the synergy is what really matters over the weight. Um, so yeah, so on a combo like Earth, these clear, these clear wheels are going to work really well. Very round. You kind of want them to cover up as much gaps as possible and, you know, just, just improves the stamina. And some people have thought maybe these gaps or these uh, things on Gasher or Cancer will, will cause recoil. I haven't personally struggled with that, but that is a possibility. Oh, like if I'm, if I'm sweating and I really want to win, I'm going to use Cygnus over everything else um, for stamina, but... Yeah, so that is basically stamina defense. Very straightforward. If, you, if you're wanting to use like stamina or defense, like strictly, these are the, the clear wheels you're going to want to use. Um, all right, so moving on, we're going to go with attack. Now attack weight really isn't much of a thing that you need to think about as much. I know like with these, you want weight to be optimal, but with attack, synergy matters so much more. So here we have screw uranus i i know i made a video it's not just a funny name but it's really not because as you can see uranus doesn't interfere with any of screw's contact points um suzanu also does very good with this uh not interfering um and then also i've heard that unicorn unicorn one does pretty good with screw so yeah basically you don't want something too big because if you were to put something like let's put aquario right here as you can see, it kind of dam like it damages the slopes. Like, it, yeah, it literally takes away a whole upper attack right there. Not not optimal in the slightest. I always just stick with Uranus because I don't know. It's like the staple, you know. It looks it looks good. 
has the funny name. <laughs> but yeah. And then the other one that I'd like to talk about is actually uh, Vulcan. Vulcan is um very good. It has good stamina, good outward weight distribution. But surprisingly, again, just like Screw, you don't want to have one of these round clear wheels on. As you can see, it can cover the contact points and... You know, it makes your Beyblade heavier, but it's not going to make it hit harder. So what you're going to want is to choose something with good synergy. So actually, I forgot to grab it, but Herusius, the clear wheel, does very well on Vulcan. And then I really like Gemios because it looks really sick and it lines up perfectly. And as you can see, it doesn't cover any of the contact points. It's not heavy, um, but yeah, it's basically just an extension of Vulcan. Looks really good, too. And then, uh, like I said, I have Eagle, these kind of here. Like, you know, like I said, if the Beyblade doesn't matter, like if you're using Flame 230 or something, you can use whatever clear wheel you want. Just know that if you're in the mirror match and you guys, let's say, both launch at the exact same strength and somebody has Cancer and the other person has, like, Phoenix, the person with Cancer is going to win, uh, it, like, if everything is the same. Because, you know... Cancer just has that better shape, better outward weight distribution. Phoenix is meh, um, but it looks pretty cool. And then there is a specialty Beyblade that works very well with Eagle, and that's Hasbro Beat. Um, it's it's known as Beagle. I don't know, you can see Kimbo use it in Beyblade West, but and, and then Jay used it in this last tournament. But yeah, that's basically how you choose... A clear wheel there's one more really like more niche thing and that's for using the clear wheel for actual upper attack so if you're using I keep accidentally hitting the tripod if you're using something in limited like hasbro duo or even duo i guess it doesn't really matter in limited because there's disc tracks but in limited or i mean in standard sorry i'm getting ahead of myself um, in standard it really doesn't matter but in limited if you're using like hasbro duo on bearing drive and you want to destabilize Flame 230, you're going to want to use a clear wheel that can destabilize things. So you don't want to use, like, if you're going for pure stamina, you can use a smooth um, clear wheel, as you can see. Works really well, really good stamina. But on bearing drive, which is really what Duo is good on, if you use something like Gemios or Scorpio, as you can see, it adds those upper slopes, and it can destabilize Beyblades and uh, do really good vertical attacks. And it's, it's pretty sick. But yeah, that's kind of the specialties. Um, if you take anything away from this video, if you're using like de pure defense and stamina, that is the whole goal of the combo. You're gonna wanna go with something round, smooth, and, and heavy. If you're using something attack orient orientated, you're going to wanna go with something that synergizes really well with the metal wheel so it doesn't cover any contact points. And that's basically it. Besides that, use whatever clear wheels you want. This is just my thoughts and my opinions and well it's just facts i guess I, I guess but yeah like in 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 the end clear wheels won't like necessarily make or break your combo but if you get matched up in a certain mirror match <laughs> it might be unlucky for you so just choose wisely um basically the, the clear wheels i have here are very good for yeah for, for attack you're just gonna have to choose you can tell if it covers a contact point but yeah, that has been everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this. Peace.